Hello. Hi. Uh, welcome back uh, to this streaming. And uh, this is the second tomato. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned before, this is uh, a streaming session that I use the uh, Visual Studio Code Live Share. So you, if you like to join the session, you can uh, use the link down in the description and uh, click on the link, and then it will uh, uh, you will able to join and see if we can uh, work on the project together. So um, for to continue the last session, this is as I said, this is fixing the class support in JavaScript for uh, in the Commando project, and the issue. Well, uh, in the last session, we figured out uh, the issue was this. Uh, this was the original code, and it works on TypeScript, which I transpiled down to yes five, but it does not work on yes six uh, using the class syntax because the uh, apply function, which was in, we would then invoke this, will uh, fail with uh, error like type error the the uh, construction function cannot be invoked without the uh, new keywords and the fix was using this and we ended up the uh, the we end the last session with this running in simulate mode it doesn't work and uh, and I also uh, off the screen tested that this solution um, this solution using the refactor construct works fine uh, also in yes5 uh, in the last tomato I didn't test that so but uh, uh, off screen I have tested so it is working fine so I end up uh, checking it in uh, so uh, actually let me uh, you can see that I have a bunch of files over here because I was working on the version 7 of the uh, library but uh, I'm going to stash it for now uh, although the stashing doesn't really work uh, well git stash pop so Actually, I don't know what why it have this SQL like here. I need to figure out later. But uh, let me go back to master and then create a branch v7. Oh, I already have a branch v7. Uh, um, I'm a little bit scary because I forgot what what v7 I have. Let's say we next. Uh, and then check this in. Uh, so this is Visual Studio Code. Why you have a solution X? Uh, before I start, because I don't, I don't want to check it in if I, you know, I don't know what it is. Uh, so let's take a quick detour on that. Uh, by the way, I need to check if I have started the. No, I have not. I have not started the uh, tomato, uh, the Tomodoro. So let's get it started. So yeah, I have five, three minutes. Uh, I'm starting this three minutes after, but it's okay uh, because I will likely run over. Uh, but I will try to keep it with it in, uh, in one tomato. So Anyway, uh, so let's get back here. I want to search for VS Code SLN X dot SQLite. SQLite, what is it? Mm -hmm. In 2017? Uh, yeah, sorry, I have still having, I some issue can less sorry uh there's some disruption give me a second and i will be right back
All right. Hello. Um, sorry for the interruption. I got a call that I need to handle. Uh, so let's now let's get back to the get back to this. So uh, since I'm looking at this, uh, working on a project research studio trying to commit change. But why do I? I'm not using Research Studio in this project. I don't have Research Studio with me right now. Uh, I don't know why it will create it. SQL like VS Code. Resource that is Visual Studio. If it's Visual Studio, I'm fine, but I'm not using Visual Studio. I was a little bit nervous why it have that file. Okay, hold on a second. This. Uh, yeah, well, it say it meant to add to uh, ignore. Uh, so although I don't know why it's there, I my guess it shouldn't be there. I'm completely fine with this because it's the configurations and it's useful to keep it there to share with anyone who want to use the system and uh, who to want to work on the project and using Visual Studio Code so that they can get the same settings and so on and, and, and utilize the tasks and so on. So, so I'm fine with this one, but this, I don't know why I have that file. Uh, so anyway, uh, it should do no harm. Uh, I mean, in terms of ignoring it. So blah, 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 blah. Here I have this, I have that. I actually, let me add a session. VS code and so dot VS. Is it dot VS? Okay. Now there you go. Uh, that we ask this. Uh, this change I don't really concerns about it. So in drum for now, uh, so that I can retrieve it later. Because they, as you saw, uh, the stash doesn't work on the new file. So, so unfortunately, uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, it pops up again. Uh, Merge conflict uh, shouldn't be an issue in this case. VS Code, unless I mistype something, but it should be okay. Okay. Uh, uh, this would be a chore, and well, just chore. It's okay. Chore update. Uh, well, ignore we. Uh, VS folder. All right. So that get out of the way. So uh, yeah. So back to here. I'm using the refract and it's working. Uh, let me just double check again. Come on. Uh, running all. Nice, everything. I want to make sure that the JS file is get run. Okay, there you go. So I'm good. So now uh, they save work, and uh, but the problem is the simulate does not work. Uh, so and uh, this likely would be a much bigger issue uh, because this file, I think, I recall it is related to uh, TypeScript. So let me think. Uh, first, let's trim down the test class.spec.js so that I'm only running that, that test. And here, um, let's see. Um, this is the constructor. Uh, well, the code is here. Uh, doing this, 
and then the problem is uh, in the build uh, let me I have to build it out so that you can see you can understand what I'm talking about uh, oh I only build in yes or five let's see yeah um, run build yes five up oh. yes five okay and then over here you will see that all those things and then the class uh, where's the constructor call thing uh, extends here super class one return class one subject I think it's this uh, that's what causing the problem uh, because the super is the base class and the base class is the actual class that I am calling uh, I'm uh, yeah hold on a second here, uh, here. This is the actual class, which is the super class, and then over there, oh, wah, come on, over there it got to this, um, and I recall we can really fix it. So, but I need to try to do a search in up oh. types issues uh, if I remember I opened that question uh, and what's the name or what did I say? Uh, so in book without new. Let's see. Yep, I think. Yep, that is exactly that thing. Uh, yes. Right, uh, I encountered this before. Yep, exactly this. Purpose exists. And then. This is still ongoing. This is still ongoing. Mm. Yep, so I hit the wall right now on this one. Uh, this is an ongoing issue. So what can I do? What can I do? Back here. So because of that, I think there's not much I can do. Unfortunately, if not, you know, I would have solved it back then when I when I opened that uh, that issue. All right back in April uh, on two eight three. So I run the. So that's why uh, back then I end up distributing the yes six version yes two thousand fifteen version instead of yes five to get around this. So that means. That actually means if the user use this, it 
it should work. It should work. It's just that right now during test, I'm still transparent down to ES5. It doesn't work. So the so the solution on that is see if I can configure uh, TS just to do that in 2015. Right, if I force the whole thing, because since I'm distributing 2015, there's no point in testing in 2000. Woo. It works. Yes. <laughs> so critical thinking works uh, and that's simple. So let's run everything. Works, 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 pass. It's a little bit slower. I don't know why, maybe just caching, whatever. But that fixed the problem. Yay. Okay, good, excellent. So similarly it works. Uh, so that's good news. So I think I can declare this bug is fixed. I can declare this bug is fixed because yeah. And this work uh, using the reflect. Uh, one concern is will it cause problem because of refract construct to do the user need any polyfill? Uh, do I have any polyfill? I don't think so, but in this project, but let me just double check. Um, with all this, given delay, blah, blah, blah. Of course, that shouldn't matter. It should be in the dependencies, but um, I don't think I have any. Yeah, I don't think I have any uh, polyfill. So that should be fine. That should be fine. And I don't even using the reflex stuff. So I think this is fine. But just in case, uh, reflect construct, right? I think you do not need any polyfill for this. Uh, it doesn't work on IE, unfortunately. Uh, but it worked on all others. And, excuse me, uh, for Commodore in the future, I, uh, in version 7, I hope, uh, I want to make it really uh, also work on the browser. And uh, this means that I cannot support IE, which, well, based on the circumstances, you know, what else can I do? Right, so I think that is fine. So I'm happy with that. Uh, so let's check that in. So, well, I don't know why this have some change. That's weird. Why does it change? Um, because this shouldn't really change. Uh, let's see. I was a little bit concerned. Error fell, that's okay. Oh. Uh, JSON. And then I can copy all this also. This is what I would do. Uh, to do a comparison between the two. Mm. Can I use this compare like this? And uh, no. well, it's okay. Let me just save this uh, under Commando uh, J1. And then this under Commando J2. Okay. Select for compare. And compare with selected. 
so it is this mass h is different spy i think is because the class code change so the ah come on step generator next oh i see uh because over here object dot next anonymous no that's not what i thought but but uh since this is just the error trace uh Eh, don't worry don't really worry about it uh, that's okay that's okay it won't hurt so let me delete these two files delete these two files anything else uh, and then this likely is the same thing uh, although it show up once I forgot have I check it in last time but it's okay I think I can live with that uh, so all this is fine and this now i move it to simulate oh yes so in order to get a fruit test uh, i would like to see if i can use the uh, test trio um let me see how am i going to do it um, let me just take a quick look at what I have over here yeah I was adding it getting it like this so I think I can do the same thing uh, choir test util yes that's fine and just in case uh, aspect.js I just having fun I right now so print out nice print that out although I don't really have to right because supposedly uh, TypeScript right uh, <laughs> that's why I'm using TypeScript so okay uh, test trio and the spec name would be class uh, well class simple will override the override that so js class uh, simple the sync uh, is okay the simple one let me make sure that this is yeah it's just the full the full is a synchronous yeah it is a synchronous version so it's really a simple simple thing a uh, simple simple version so title and spec oh spec and then so i can say uh, test title and a sync oh. typo typo so put this over here And now I don't need this. Go. There you go. So, JS class simple, live, safe, simulate, all works. Excellent. Uh, okay. Uh, I am happy with this. This is good. Mm, what else can I do? Well, since I'm testing it outside and I want to follow the same step that as in the TypeScript so I let me pull that out over here so that I can use it just like the others I give me something give me something like this okay so you can see this should now be very similar to this blah 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 one make a call well yeah I don't really have to do the actual I can do it like this but something and over here oh oh I still have this this are some older code this is what I have back then uh, when I was doing uh, 
a detail, very detail uh, uh, test on the code to make sure that each step, each the, 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 the record that I have created is actually created correctly. But as I have all those things done, well, I don't really need it anymore. And uh, for version 7, I will actually, for version 7, actually, I'm going to rewrite it, rewrite it. Uh, so are those still useful? No, they are, they, they typically, pretty much will not be useful because the structure change and we we'll get we we'll get rid of all that because as it turned out uh, during usage you don't really care uh, in the inception of this library uh, originally I thought the uh, consumer would be interested to make sure the core the inner core are uh, being being made at a certain order with certain values so that they can check that but i realize uh as i'm using it myself that uh i don't really have to because the code outside the behavior you do you you describe outside already uh validate the order and the call and all, all those things in that happens internally so there's no really any need uh, to verify the verify them manually uh, or explicitly uh, the only thing that those the, the satisfied is still useful is when you're offering plugins for uh, commando and that's when you would need to know that oh i want to make sure that the uh the call are uh, being uh, recorded correctly, but uh, at the same time, you know that might not be even true. Uh, it may end up, you know, you don't have to, because I because I, I I was keep working on the main code, so the uh, the plugin I I would need to work on it later on, and when I do that, I will know the answer to this. Anyway, back to here, and uh, this is fine. It's good. All of this pass, just in case. Check everything. Everything pass. Uh, these are explicit uh, error. That was testing some error case. And then uh, for myself, I also add some message over here to remind me that oh, although I see this kind of error, it is as expected. So so that's nothing to worry about uh, on those message. Uh, although you know these have a next message, this is kind of weird. I don't know why the next one doesn't show. Uh, should I take a look at it? Uh, when since how much time do we have? How much time do we have? Let's see. Uh, we actually ran out. So well, I will do that next time. Uh, so the last things I'm going to do is update all this. There's some more, all oh, the simple uh, on the different files. Well, at this moment, I don't think I would worry about it, no, about those too much uh, because all the, the bottom line is the test passes. Um, okay, so fix. Uh, well, so what have I changed? Uh, let's see. This is just updating test, then that's also just updating the test. Uh, so just update tests. And I don't have, I in this this time I don't follow the uh, the commit change because I just feel don't feel like it. And the reason is uh, I am doing a. Uh, squash and match so those won't be showing up anyway so this uh, let me fix class let me give you a better description class support for JavaScript okay so this closes uh, that And so that it will trigger the build, 
and uh, while we check and waiting for it and uh, probably I will stop the stream uh, before that so because the end is after they all pass I just squash and merge and then it and then I'm using um, uh, what uh, semantic release so if it will release a new version anyway automatically so over here I just give some description uh, let's say uh, the and the original code uh, using object dot create uh, only works for uh, yes five but not yes 2015 uh, class con structure uh, using refact.construct fix that issue also uh, updated test uh, test settings to test using yes 2015 instead of yes 5 uh, Test setting. Do you need S? Yes, no. Uh, update test set to test using probably. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't know what I'm talking about in this case. That's okay. So this path uh, travels typically take much longer. So I won't bore you with that. And that's it for this uh, streaming. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, the next tomatoes uh, won't be today. Uh, right now is 12.47 a.m. already. And I will do a new one uh, tomorrow or be maybe later. And I think that would be on the version 7. And that one I will work, you know, as I mentioned before, rewriting it. So you were able to see the whole thing uh, from start to finish. So stay tuned and uh, have fun. Happy coding. Bye-bye.